Now everything is ready. The liner has been loaded in the inversion drum and clamped to the fitting at the front. We are ready to install the liner. For this installation we need the inversion drum with the inversion hose. On the inversion drum you can see a pressure gauge and next to that is the steam mixing table where we control the airflow and also mix the steam. We also have a thermocouple where we can measure the temperature of the mixed steam and also inside the pipe we can measure the temperature between the liner and the pipe. Then we have the steam unit that's an EPROS steam gen M150 which produces 150 kilograms of steam per hour. The inversion will be done using air pressure. It is important that you have the start mark of the liner in exactly the right place to ensure that you reach accurately the end of the repair. So now the inversion will start. The pressure for this is 0.3 bars. You can find the pressure for the inversion and also for the curing in the manuals. You can see this starts with a 100 mm pipe which then increases to 125. Further down the length it increases to 150 and then we have a 90 degree bend. The Drain Plus Liner 2.0 is perfectly suited to this type of installation. Now the liner has reached the 90 degree bend and we are going to demonstrate how easy the Drain Plus Liner 2.0 can go around this bend. We steadily increase the pressure and you can see that the hand wheel starts to move, demonstrating how easily the Drain Plus Liner 2.0 can negotiate around the bend. You can now see the liner is fully installed and the end cap is at the end of the pipe to connect the steam hose and start the curing process. This will be shown in a separate video.